What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna do a breakdown of the best ball player glitches and method in MLB The Show 22. If you're new to the channel and you rocking with the content, drop a thumbs up on the video, hit the red subscribe button, turn your notifications on. Let's get into the breakdown. Let's go. All right, so as you can see right here, this is my created ball player. When you are on this screen, you will never see his true overall and you will never see his true stats. Now, if you were to go out and play versus CPU, Conquest, any other mode like that, before you get into the game, you can go over your player and that will show the true stats. Now, in the next video, I'm going to be breaking down stub methods and investments to help you get a lot of stubs. After the investments, the next roster update, you can see right now, I am at about 200,000. I have 100,000 stubs and investments, and it should turn into a half a million stubs. So if you're interested in those type of videos, go ahead, drop a thumbs up. Let's get into the road to the show method. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is go to the top right corner where it says create and settings. You're going to go to create and then you're going to go to vaults. Once you go to vaults, you're going to push R1 or RB depending on your system. We're going to go to roster right here. I'm going to push X or square depending on your system. And we're just going to do roll to the show RTTS. OK, and from there, we're going to search. Now, once you go to Road to the Show XP Grind, it's a lot of different ones, but the best roster is Hayes Barney, and this is an Xbox account. So you have to make sure that number one, you have cross play on. Now, with this roster and using your ball player, if you are using a position player, first base, second base, shortstop, all those type of players, this is going to be super, super fast and glitchy for you because it's going to be a lot of times that you score over 100 runs. OK, and your guy is going to have the benefit of getting a lot of plate appearances, which is one of the user input things that you need to accomplish. So you will go, you will click on that and you will download it. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to mess up my current road to the show. And once you download it, then you're going to want to load up what you downloaded so you come right here to roll to the show and you will load the save file you will load the save file and then once this comes up you will start new with the loaded file that you saved okay so for me i already have all that so now i can just click in and go right to my road to the show now yesterday my guy was at about a 53 54 overall in two hours i went up almost 20 points on my overall with this third baseman okay so you come down here to my player and load out this is where you're going to set everything that you need you click into loadout once you come into loadout this is going to be all your equipment that you're going to put on your player I am on the silver tier right now and down below you can see I have plus 34, 34, 34, plus 29 and plus 29 on contact. I do have a couple diamond perks in there and then after this silver tier I will get more free equipment and I will have all diamonds. Now in the next two hours my guy should be close to an 88 to 90 overall depending on what equipment I put on him. I can boost them up. I did a pitcher before, he's a 94 overall. So in certain games, you can rotate your pitcher or your position player in and out of the lineup. Okay, so if you come down here to the program, I haven't started the silver. Later on tonight, I'm gonna do another two hours and get all the way up to this gold archetype. All this XP doesn't have a cap. Every time you get to these XP missions, this is what makes this super fast, glitchy, and the best method in the game. All these XP you will get with no cap. If you play the regular game mode, it's a 60K, 65K cap. This you can do unlimited. You can get all the way over 300,000 XP in the new program right now with no cap. Then you go knock out the conquest, just playing the game. Then you are up over 375 to 400,000 XP and everything that is important in the program, you should have completed already in about six and a half 
hours. Now the missions change. From bronze, you only need 15, but on silver, you need 20 plate appearances. And with the roster that I just showed you guys, and down in the link in the description, and in the comment section, I'm gonna pin the picture. So if you made a better before, a month and a half ago, and you already maxed out everything, you can click on the video down below and use the setup for the picture. So once you go to silver, you're gonna need 20 plate appearances. Like I said, with this roster, you're gonna get eight to nine plate appearances every single time. So every two to three games at the most, you should have this completed, and you should have the 12 hits completed, you should have the five extra base hits completed, and then you should have this one-time non-repeatable mission completed. So this, at the beginning, is gonna give you 10 points. Then if you wanna do the stolen bases, this can get you an additional three points. So once I get this first non-repeatable one done, then I would just go for hitting only. So I would do the five extra base hits, the 12 hits, and the 20 plate appearances. So every two, two and a half games, you should have those nine points. So you only need a hundred. So once you get the original 10 to 15 points, then every 24 games, you should be about 90 points to a hundred points of the program in about two hours or maybe a little bit over. And it's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna do the gold all the way through the same way. The mission's gonna change. You're probably gonna need 25 plate appearances, but with this roster, you're going to get eight to 10 times every single game to get a chance to get a hit. You don't need a home run every time, a double, a triple, a home run. It all works for extra base hits. It all works for your hits. That's six points every single game that you get in. And then your plate appearances will add up every two games. Okay. Now at the end of the game, you might not see the XP that you are looking for. Because what is important is the XP throughout these programs, okay? Not the XP for the game that you play, but the XP throughout the program. If your XP is not adding up at the end of the game, come down here and you might be using unnecessary game plays. What I mean by unnecessary game plays is if you are at 15 out of 20 play appearances and you are at 11 out of 12 hits, okay? All you need is five plate appearances. It will not start back over at zero and keep going. So after you get your plate appearances finished, after you get your hits finished, then you just wanna go push start and simulate with the O button the rest of the game and it usually glitches out. You can get 60, 70, 80, 100 runs. Now, all your stats will still boost up. All the user stats like this one, the hits and the extra base hits, you have to play those missions. This is the best and easiest breakdown in MLB The Show 22. If you enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up on the video. Let's get 40 to 50 likes on every single video and I keep breaking down the best tips for y'all. Let's go.